And that is the power of you giving yourself the best chance that you can. It's not fucking, oh, well, landing page just didn't go the way that I wanted. So yeah, this one's over FF15. And if your response is simply just 15, just because one person did something bad in lane, like, good luck. Good luck with that. I will never fucking be that way. There's a, there is a way around it that you can begin to justify, oh, well, 15. I'm fine with, you know what? Honestly, I'm not in a situation myself where I think that I can easily dig this out. I want to preserve my mental. I want to move on. That's fine. Let's go next. We have been solidly defeated. I can appreciate that. I get what I did wrong. I am looking to rectify that. If you've got four people that are just straight up cussing each other out, I'm not going to force you to, we got to fucking win this one, man. This is the one to win. Like, that's fine. Preserve your mental, sure. But if you fucking think to yourself, ah, oh, fuck, 15, the moment something goes wrong, man, forever pathetic. Fuck that. Think about it. Instead, think about the game constructively, critically, for a few minutes, and you can come up with whatever fucking A, B, C you want. Figure out what the A and the B and the C mean in accordance to reality. If your ABCs don't affect and reflect what is occurring in reality, what game are you playing? You fucking playing patty cake by yourself in the corner and you are negatively affecting other people's experience while they're trying hard and doing their best and trying to grow as a person? Or are you acknowledging what's occurring? Tell yourself, I'm not the best player right now. Be honest. That doesn't mean kill yourself over every little thing and I'm a fucking piece of shit. Be loving to yourself. Be good to yourself. Take it easy on yourself. Cut yourself some slack. But ditch the ego. Ditch the fucking, well, this doesn't apply to me because I'm just too fucking good. If your weld isn't something that is self-contained and applies to pretty much literally anyone, I don't think it's very solid. If it does not apply to the reality that most people face while they're playing the game, I think you got a lot of work to do on it still. But as we just saw, it's really not that hard to just begin to formulate something, involve other people in it, get them to think with you. Why not involve your team with it? Involve other people. Link this video to them if you have to, and then talk about it. Do what you have to do to be considering this is what a real game plan looks like. This is what a real game plan looks like. Not, I'm going to accomplish step one, and then I am going to accomplish step two, and then I'm going to accomplish step three, and that means I'm going to accomplish step four. I don't give a fuck about step four. Why, who is, like, you're outlining step four before you even stepped on the field? No. No. No, go ahead. You go ahead and show me step four, and I'm going to fucking break it over my knee. I don't care. You tell me what step four is before we start. Go ahead. I fucking dare you to tell me what you think step four is going to be. You better fucking dance all over me like nothing fucking I have ever seen in my life if you do that. If you do anything short of absolutely dance on my grave, and this isn't some 4D, like, shit-talking chess that you have developed and are using it to take me out of my focus and stuff. You're doing that, okay. You don't need me to tell you this shit. You figured it out. But if you want to go ahead and tell me what you think step four of competing against me is going to look like, I fucking tell you what the 
only thing that I know is that's not what step four is gonna look like. I will fucking, I promise, promise, not gonna happen. Don't care, don't care. You're gonna give me that kind of info. And if you're working on that kind of info, if that's what you are working off of is, well, shit, when am I going to get to step four? Guess what? Step four isn't fucking coming. Step four is out the fucking window. And if you're still waiting for step four to jump back into the window of the moving vehicle that you are in while you're playing this game. Don't hold your breath. That's ridiculous to think about going about it that way like do i need to fail all right well what's step four <laughs> you have to be constantly reevaluating, constantly say so, shit they're only doing this and we can't stop them from doing that step four doesn't fucking mean anything anymore we didn't even get to step two and they are drumming us step four is gone step four is gone and dead step four just became step 27 if we can even get back to that so why did you practice step four like that was something that was gonna happen if it's something that's gonna happen it's not just step four it's a whole ass fucking major factor in one of these abcs it's not just a step four that's why i'm like so fucking against the concept of like 10 easy steps to do this or do that no it's not how fucking dumb is that shit? I cannot stand it. No, it's not 10 simple steps. Nothing worth doing is ever 10 simple steps. It's the dumbest shit. You want me to not believe you? Go ahead and give me 10 simple steps for something extremely important and valuable to me as a person. It's not. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. There is not just 10 simple steps. There is so much evaluation and explanation and understanding to acquire within every single letter that you can define. And it has to be a complete definition and it has to lead back into itself to fortify itself. It has to be able to lean. It has to be able to answer some of its own questions. Some of the questions are going to be answered by your opponent. Some of the questions are gonna be answered by yourself. This has to fill in the rest of the gaps and inform you. Otherwise, it's not complete enough. You have more evaluation to do. Surprise, surprise. You have more evaluation to do. And it has to always take reality into account. Ditch the ego. I don't fucking care. Ditch the ego. What is actually happening? That is what matters. You can deal with the rest later. When you're in the locker room wondering, oh my fucking God, what just happened? <laughs> That's the time to think about, oh, I could have done this better and I could have done that better and I could have done this and I could have done that. It can't be in the middle of the game or you're fucking lost and you're losing time so much more rapidly than you realize. That is a losing situation, not knowing what your ABCs are and having them not reflect what is actually occurring, you're just lying to yourself. Once again, once again, you are not allowed to lie to yourself. This is always going to tell you the truth, whether you acknowledge it or not. Don't care what actually happened. What actually happened? I don't want excuses. Excuses buy you nothing. Don't want to hear it. What actually happened and what needs to change to make sure that whatever bad happened doesn't happen again, that you are able to approach and handle the adversity confidently moving forward. That's what you need. Confidence. That's what this gets you. And with confidence, real confidence, the sky is no longer the limit. Doesn't matter. And as always, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be safe. You gotta stay dangerous. Be ready to protect yourself. And you have to take it easy. You gotta take it easy on yourself. Ditch the ego. Like, there's no reason to be fucking killing yourself over this stuff. The practice and the development time is the time to get all of that failing out of the way. But it's not actually failing. 
be good to yourself. It's not just failure, bottom line failure. You can use that information. If you dedicate your time and all of your ability to figuring out how to become the best person, the most effective person that you can become, you can use everything in one way or another. All the information is good. It's up to you to use it well. All right? You gotta critically think for yourself and you gotta take it easy on yourself while you're doing this stuff. I know what it sounds like and what it feels like to just want to kill yourself over every little mistake and you think that that's helpful and that's what I need to do to make sure I don't do it again. That's really not the case. I still do it to myself all the fucking time and every single time I do it, I'm just like, what am I fucking doing? Like clicking <laughs> fucking the wrong button multiple times in a fucking row. Well, I'm talking about some of the most important and interesting shit that I could possibly think of. I'm fucking up my presentation multiple times in a row. Now I know that these buttons aren't that fucking helpful and this one gets rid of all of it. And I, that I have to really pay attention when I'm choosing which one that I pick. Yes, I would like to think that in certain aspects, I failed in my presentation, but then that failure, I used it immediately, and then I made it a part of the presentation, and then I used, that's just how I, I know how that works now. Now I know what that button does. Now I'm going to use that button properly. Am I going to fuck up and accidentally press that button again at some of the worst times possible? Probably. Yeah. I'm going to say absolutely, definitely, just to, to be safe. I'm going to go with fucking, of course. Yeah. Since that going to happen several times? Probably. Do I know what I did wrong? Yes. Do I know what I have to do to not do it again? Yes. Have I learned? Yes. Did I fail? No. No. It's not just find your fucking fail and just scrap the whole video because I pressed the wrong fucking button one time, even though that was the first thing I thought was, oh my fucking God. Why did I do that? But then instantly, I know why I feel that way. Is that useful right now? No, so I'm gonna... I decided to be good to myself. Could I have freaked out and fucking ripped this notepad in half? Yeah, I could probably just snap this pen right now. But I don't want to do that. What does that get me? Nothing. I'm not thinking properly anymore. I'm not considering everything with a good perspective. And now I have two very useful things that are fucking broken that I can't use anymore for no reason. I decided to be good to myself. And you do as well. It's a decision that you make. It's not something that a light switch that you turn on and off. It's not this switch to flip. Always decide. I'm going to be better to myself. Take it easy. That's what I mean when I say it. you got to take it easy. It's all useful. It's not just failing. You're only failing when you quit and you decide that it was all for nothing. And you got to cut that short as soon as you can. It's that simple. Take it easy. Be safe. Stay dangerous. Take it easy. And thank you for becoming who you are supposed to be. Appreciate it.